Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Class. So today's topic is assignment problem. So let's get started with the definition of the assignment problem. Suppose there are n jobs to be performed and n person are available for doing these jobs. Assume that each person can do each job at a time, though with varying degree of efficiency. Let Cij be the cost if the ith person is assigned to jth job. The problem is to find assignment. What is that? Which job should be assigned to which person? On one to one basis. Why do we do this? So that the total cost of performing all the jobs is minimum. So these kind of problems are known as assignment problems. How the assignment problems are being represented? We usually represent them in a square matrix where we have different person performing different jobs. And here the C's are nothing but the respective cost involved when a particular job is being handled by a particular person. Example, here C11 is when first person is performing first job what is the cost involved? Same way here C12 is nothing but when the first person is performing the second job, what is the cost involved? It just goes on till the first person performing the nth job. Likewise, we have n person and n jobs to be performed. So let's take an example point is to find the optimal assignment and the cost of assignment. Five person where they have mentioned as mechanics and they have five jobs. So it is a complete square matrix. Started with the first step. That is nothing but row minimization. What is row minimization? For each row, we find the least element in that row and subtract that element with all the elements present in that particular row. So this is our matrix where we have all the elements given. Step 1, that is row minimization. How do we find row minimization? First entire row, we have to find the least element and we have to subtract it with every other element present in that particular row. So what is the least element here? 2. So we have to subtract 2 with all the elements present here. So let's do that. So first we take 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. And two mi 3 minus 2 is 1. And again 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 8 minus 2 is 6. So we have completed this particular row. In the second row which is the least element. Again 2 is the least element. So let's subtract 2 from every other element present in that particular row. First element 9. And the least element is 2. So 9 minus 2 is 7. And 7 minus 2 is 5. And 8 minus 2 is 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 7 minus 2 is 5. The third row. What is the least element here? Once again it is 2. So let's start. 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 is the smallest. So 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5, 8 minus 2 is 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. Again here the least element in the last row is 6. So this is nothing but our row minimization. Once again let me explain how we did row minimization. This is our matrix given. These are different person and these are different jobs. And these are the different cost involved for that particular job for a particular person. So how do we do the row minimization? In the entire row we select the least or the minimum uh, cost involved and subtract that number with every other element present in that particular row. 2 as a minimum in the given first row. So we subtract 2 with every other element present in that particular row. So what we did? We did 10 minus 2 as 8 and 3 minus 2 as 1 and 3 minus 2 as 1 and 2 minus 2 as 0 and 8 minus 2 as... So this is the matrix which we obtained from row minimization. That is our first step. So now let's move on to the second step that is nothing but column minimization. We performed row minimization on the initial matrix which was given to us. From that we obtained this particular matrix. But now we have to move forward from this particular matrix which we obtained from row minimization. The column minimization has to be performed on this particular matrix. How do we do column minimization? Here in the first column we have to choose the least element and subtract that particular element in every other element present in that particular col column. The least element is 1. So we need to subtract every other element with 1 in that particular column. That's what I have done here. So what we do? 8 minus 1 is 7. 
and 7 minus 1 is 6, 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 minus 1 is 0 and 3 minus 1 is 2. So let's do it for the second column. In the second column which is the least element, 1 is the least element. So we have to subtract every element with 1 in this second column. So what we do, 1 minus 1 is 0, 5 minus 1 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3. Likewise, let's do for the third column. In the third column also, which is the least one? 1 is least. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. And 6 minus 1 is 5. And 3 minus 1 is 2. And in the column, nothing more can be done. So, you have to just retain the values in the fourth column. Coming to the last column, the fifth column, which is the least element here? 2 is the least element. So, subtract every element in this particular column with 2. So, 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 minus 2 is 0, again 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, this is the result of column minimization. So, once we obtain this column minimization, we have to connect all these zeros present in every row and every column with minimum number of lines. The lines can be horizontal or vertical. Let me cover this particular column with one line. I am going to connect everything. So, this is one line I am using to cover everything. So, I have covered maximum zeros in this particular column by using one line. Again, in this column, we have two zeros which can be connected like this. There is one more two zeros here which I am going to cover it like this. Fine. So, but if you see there is only one more zero left. I am going to connect it like this. So, once after connecting all the zeros with horizontal and vertical lines, we have to check for an important condition whether n is equivalent to n. What does this n mean? The capital N means the number of lines that we have been drawing. Okay. The line drawn. Okay. What is this N? It's the matrix. In our case, what is capital N? Capital N is the number of lines we have drawn. So, how many lines we have drawn? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, capital N is equal to 4. But what is small n equal to? It is 5 by 5 matrix. So, small n is 5. So, since n is equal to n condition is not achieved, further modification of this matrix is required. So, what is the further modification to be done? First, consider the elements which are covered by the line. You have to retain them as it is in the next matrix, except for the condition of intersection. What is intersection? Where two lines are joining at particular element. Example, 0, 4 and 7. What is happening here? Two lines are joining in this particular condition. So, we have to not retain them. There is some modification to be done to them. Other than that, all the other elements covered by the line should be retained as it is. So, what are those elements? Let's start from first. So, in the modification step in the next matrix, we are going to retain the elements which are covered under the line. In the first row, I am leaving black space for 7, which is 0. Next is 0. But next, I am leaving a dash because it is intersecting there. Here, next also there is an intersection. So, I am leaving a blank space for it. Coming to the next row, what is done? 6 is under cover. There is some modification has to be done to third column. 0 is there. Fourth, again there is 3. So, likewise I am going to retain all the elements under the line and show you. So, I have retained all the elements from the previous matrix except for the ones which has got uh, intersections here. So, what is the next step? So, now what we have done? We have retained all the lines covering elements. So, what we do further? Now, we have to modify the other parts. Among the elements which are said to be uncovered, that means whichever is not covered under the line, here where we have to do the modification. How we do that? Among all the uncovered elements, we have to choose the least one. In our case, 2 is the least one. So, we have to subtract 2 with every other elements which are not been covered. How we do that? Now, 4 minus 2 is what? 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, 5 minus 2 is 3, 
3 minus 2 is 1 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So, this is the modification that we have done. But we still have some more blanks left here. How do we fill them? We can fill this blank by taking the same least number that is 2 where we took 2 here. That 2 should be added to every other elements which are left blank here. What is this? 7 plus 2 will give us 9. And uh, 0 plus 2 will give us 2. 4 plus 2 will give us 6. So this is the modified matrix which we have obtained from column minimization. So once again we have to cover all the zeros by means of horizontal lines and vertical lines. So I am covering all the two zeros like this. Next I have four zeros in this particular column. So I am going to cover all of them like this. And again in this I have, uh, column I have two zeros which I am covering like this. Again here I have three zeros which I am covering like this. And I am covering this zero like this. So let's check for n is equal to n condition. Our n is also 5 here and our small n is also 5. How n is the uh, capital N is the total number of lines drawn. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this condition is satisfied. So we can go ahead and do the assignment. So here what I have done, I have just written uh, the final matrix as it is that we which we got after checking this condition. I am just retaining it same for the assignment purpose. So how do we do the assignment? We have to check with the zeros position in every row present. If in case there are more than one zero in this case like in the first row we have two zero again in this third row we have three zero that time how do we choose the position there are two three options so how to choose that we should see that choosing one zero in particular row should not affect the other rows example if i'm choosing this particular zero here all the other zeros in that particular column will be cancelled out i cannot choose them again in this row so we should make sure that at least one zero is present with every row so that is how we have to go ahead and do the assignment Let's do that. So in the first uh, first row, I am choosing this particular 0. So let me choose this particular 0. So when I choose this 0, every other row present in that particular column will be cancelled out. I am cancelling it out. So my first assignment with the first row is done. With second row, that is B row, only one 0 is present. So we directly choose that particular row. Once we select one the B row, we should cancel out all the other zeros present in that particular column in C row only one zero is left so we have chosen this particular assignment for C row D row only one zero is present so we have to select it only one particular zero left so we are going to choose this position based on the assignment we say A is tending to 2 so we have to write A tending to 2 is tending to 4 so V is tending to 4 as I said a is tending to 2, B is tending to 4, C is tending to 5, D is tending to 1 and E is tending to 3. This is our final assignment that we have to see in the first initial matrix what is the cost value given to that. So this is the final step, final assignment we have got. A tending to 2. What is the initial cost given to that A tending to 2? It is 3. So we write 3. Plus we have b tending to 4 what is the value 2 now we got b tending to 4 is 2 next is c tending to 5 is 4 so plus 4 plus what we have d tending to 1 what is d tending to 1 3 so plus 3 plus what is e tending to 3 e tending to 3 is 9 okay that will give you 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 9 is 21. For the given initial matrix, this is the optimum assignment. For this assignment, this is the optimum cost. In